Mwendi Anyaga is a former managing director of the National Oil Corporation in Kenya, and he's also the current chief executive of Oil and Energy Services Limited. He's live in studio with us tonight. Uh, Mr. Anyaga, thank you very much for your time this evening. L let's start with something that happened late last year, the violence that led to the shutdown in exploration affairs uh, as far as Tullo's operations are concerned in northern Kenya. What could have been done better by all parties involved in that particular situation? Um, Rama, you know, most of these problems are actually caused by differences in expectations between different parties. So, um, like in such case, when I tried to look at what was happening there, I, my observation was that there was probably too much expectation uh, from the people on the ground uh, in terms of uh, how many jobs are available uh, that can be offered to them and even how much can be paid to them. And uh, uh, most of these problems can uh, only be sorted through uh, communication, communication, communication. Uh, the companies need to com communicate more. The government also needs to be seen uh, because sometimes people trust the governments to tell them the truth. And uh, uh, all other people, including the civil society, to uh, ensure that people are not expecting too much uh -huh. uh, when only a small level of operation is happening. Indeed, a new energy bill has been proposed to deal with some of the emerging issues in the oil sector, the energy bill of 2013. What's your assessment of the proposed legislation? Um, I have a few uh, uh, issues uh, with it. And probably first to say it has uh, uh, gone uh, quite a long way in trying to address some of the gaps that may have been there in the previous law. But I think that uh, the bill needs to be disaggregated to cover things like petroleum, uh, especially exploration and production separately. Right now, um, uh, the last I saw is that it was all combined within the same bill. Number two is that uh, the last I saw, and this was the energy bill of 2013, whereas I am aware that a lot of work is still going on in, in refining it, it had not covered some uh, uh, issues relating to separation of uh, uh, powers uh, uh, so that you have policy on one side within the ministry, you have regulatory powers within uh, a different agency and operations, um, uh, commercial operations within a different agency. Um, that was completely omitted in the Energy Bill 2013 and I hope it will be addressed right now. And lastly, uh, issues of uh, how do you ensure that you get maximum benefits to the people of Kenya through local participation, uh -huh. uh, local employment, and, and issues of local content. I feel that it was um, uh, addressed in a very, very light way, and a lot more detail can be put in the bill to strengthen that. Indeed, let's focus on one of those particular issues. This law mandates a split in revenues between national governments, county governments, and the local community in the ratio of 80 to 15 to 5. Do you think that that is an adequate way of forestalling some of the high expectation problems that we've seen so far? Uh, my complete honesty is that I think we are putting the cart before the horse. We, we, we are looking so much at how the revenues will be managed uh, and how the revenues will be split. And yet there's so much more groundwork that we need to lay right now, right here in advance. Uh, and that those are the issues I've mentioned about issues of local participation, issues of value addition can immensely uh, create significant economic multiplier. However, uh, I'm not opposed to uh, location of revenues between uh, national government, county governments, and local communities. I think the percentages allocated there needs to be relooked in the context of exactly how much is the dollar value uh, that's expected at different levels of production so that we can avoid uh, maybe channeling so much money into only one area of the economy whereas some other areas are suffering. I think at high levels of production, 15% uh -huh. and 5% could be enormous amounts of money, which, which may actually end up being uh, too much to one side. Indeed. We'll have to leave it there for the time being, though, but thank you very much for your time this evening. That's uh, Mwendi Anyaga, former director, managing director, rather, of the National Oil Corporation, current CEO of the Oil and Energy Services Limited Company in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi.